Today we're going to be doing a expansion comparison on a three and a half inch barrel Taurus 24/7 Gen 2 and 45 ACP, and a five inch barrel Ruger SR 1911. I'm going to shoot them in a five gallon bucket of water to see if there's a difference in the expansion. Today we're going to be shooting the critical defense. 45 auto, 185 grain hollow point. The uh, muzzle velocity at 15 yards is 936 feet per second. At 100 yards, it's 883 feet per second. And at the muzzle, it has a 1,000 feet per second. First, I'm going to be shooting the Taurus 24-7 Gen 2 in a three and a half inch barrel. All right, let's see what it looks like. There's a little plastic in. There's the mushroom out of the three and a half inch barrel. Let's sit this right here and we'll do the uh, five inch. All right now I'm gonna shoot the Ruger SR 1911 in the five inch barrel. That was a little more dramatic on that one, and it actually put a hole in the bottom of the bucket. You can't see it. And here is the uh, the five in, the five inch barrel. We'll uh, take them inside and uh, see what the uh, Differences. All right, this is uh, our two bullets. The 24-7 uh, averaged out at 0 0.760, which is just a hair over three quarters of an inch. The Ruger at the five inch barrel averaged out at 0 0.77, which is just 10 hundredths above the 24-7. Zoom in and get a close shot at these two and, and look at how the uh, how they're expanded. How they've got a the little star in them, how they those cuts have recessed back out and how far it's rolled in. Uh, the, the five inch barrel which throws more velocity actually you see it it peeled them back further. It uh, still didn't come in just a little over what the 24-7 uh, did as far as the expansion, but uh, you can still see it leaves a pretty good mess. Uh, this is what I normally carry in my 24-7 I carry every day, but, uh, but they both expanded very well and there's not that big of a difference between carrying a three and a half and a five inch barrel. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, be safe.